What's up guys, it's Natra here and welcome to the penultimate football roundup of the season. That's right, we've got one more football roundup which is next, will be next week, but this is the penultimate one. This will be the last Premier League, Bundesliga and, Liga, and La Liga of the season. Now let's start off with the Premier League. And in the Premier League, we only had the race for the top four this week with the last games of the season, which was between Man City, Liverpool and Arsenal, who will get that last, who will get those two Champions League spots and who will get the all night spot, who will get the playoff. Let's start off with Man City. Man City won 5-0 against Watford, which means they will finish third this season. Guerrero and got a couple goals. Uh, Gabriel Jesus scored a really good goal. And also, you know, Ferradino scored as well. It was a good win for Man City. They really did show. They had a really good end of the season. They beat West Brom as well. And then they beat the first West Brom 3 1. And then they won against Man City, Man Watford. But Watford really proud in this game. Watch my side. Last game at Watford. Didn't really say anything. It was terrible. The defending was shocking. They didn't really turn up Watford. They were really poor. They really had no. Really, no way they were playing. I didn't understand what they were doing. I mean, I understand they knew any no centre backs, but for goodness' sake, at least try. I mean, your last home game of the season, your last game as his manager at Watford, at least give the fans something to shout about. Not get bend over and get that fist in them. What Man City have done. But take away Man City for now. And this is what Man City can do when they are they, when they are as they can destroy any team in the Premier League in Europe, pretty much. And the good one for them, which puts them fifth. It hasn't been a great season for Man City. They should be fighting for the Premier League title. The fact that they're 17 points behind Chelsea at this stage, at, at this end, at the end of the season, good score to show they have went instead of them going two steps forward, they went two steps back. And it's going to be an interesting summer for Man City. They will probably spend more. They will spend millions in the summer. But the fact of the matter is, Pep Guardiola didn't know how big of a job he had at Man City. And I told you that Man City won't win the league. I said they'll finish third this season. I was ready with that. Next season, we'll see the real Man City. And maybe we'll see what this Man City team can achieve in Champions League and in, and in the Premier League terrace next year. Now this left between Liverpool and Arsenal. Who will get the last spot? It went to Liverpool. They won 3 0. For now, it was a very agey curtain. It was a really a lot of anxiety at the first half. It was really nervous first half, though. They were playing some slotty passes. The movement wasn't great. It wasn't like the Liverpool at the start of the season. Or though we were playing against West Ham, even West Ham just didn't turn up. But give credit to Wijnaldum. He's been a really good sign for Liverpool this season. I said when he went there that he scored goals for Newcastle now when we sadly went got relegated. But he will. I, I think this is his position. He's not number ten, but he is number eight. He can. Play there. He, he can find a pass. He definitely can. He definitely can create chances for the team. And it's a good finish for him. And just for half time, one 0 Then the second goal was a beautiful free kick from their player of the season, in Coutinho. He's been sensational for them this season. He scored some very goals from the season and created some really big chances for them too. The third goal, well, counter attack, bang, three 0 Lalana scores. Good win for, for them. Their main, their main objective of the start of the season was to finish top four. They ticked that box. And next season, Liverpool are back in the Champions League. What can they bring in the summer? Who can they attract? They can attract the big players, but can they really put in a, a, a fight in there for the tail next season? We we'll wait and see for that. That meant Arsenal don't finish the top four for the first time in Arsenal Wenger's history at Arsenal. And therefore, I would say that 20 years. Arsenal have not been in the top four. And uh, last time they were in the top four, Newcastle now finished second, my name on the title, Aston Villa were fourth, I think the Leeds were I think the Liverpool were third, I think the Leeds finished sixth that year. I'm not even certain. But Arsenal were, will be playing Europa League next season. They've had a bad season, pretty much. I think Arsenal Wenger said at the start of the season, his main objective is for Arsenal to improve on last season. Well, guess what, mate? You haven't improved in any areas whatsoever. Yeah, you got Alexis Sanchez scored over 20 goals a season for the first time Arsenal scored it. Uh, first time ever Arsenal player who scored over 20 goals a season since it carried on me. But the fact of the matter, this is wrong one person actually, but the, fact, the fact of the matter is this Arsenal team lacks characters, lacks leaders, lacks a, any gale whatsoever. You think of Arsenal and you think of how they went from fifth. 
from, from Tails and two versions and, and the unbeatables, and now fifth. And the fact of the matter is, ever since they moved this new stadium, it hasn't helped. The whole Arsenal board literally don't know what they're doing. Uh, Arsenal doesn't even know if they're going to sign a contract or not sign a contract, which has definitely affected the players this season. And also, the biggest one, the fans. The fans have had enough of it. They're getting banners every week. You're seeing the airplanes with Wenger in, Wenger out, Wenger out means out. It's just a, it's just a complete mess at Arsenal. And maybe not finishing in the top four is a really good thing for Arsenal because now they can actually sit back and think, okay, we have to win the FA Cup final. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think they will. I think Chelsea will walk over them. But I look. I think mean, now they can take back and say, okay, we need to spend big in the summer. If we want to get back in the top four and we want to fight for the title, you just have to spend big in the summer. I mean, you might, you might you have to spend at least what Man City and Man United are spending because they're going to spend big. Liverpool are going to spend big. Chelsea are going to spend big. So it's Spurs. So the fact is, and everything, the fact is they right now need to spend money if they're going to go anywhere close next year. They are, if they don't spend any money and they will sell Sanchez and will sell Urzel, they can go from 5th to 8th, like that, because the Premier League is ruthless. You can go from that to that in the space of a season. It is ruthless, to say the least. So that's what I think. I think Wenger will probably stay there, but the Arsenal need major change to that team in the summer. Chelsea left the champions, and John Terry, last game as Chelsea player, 1-5-1 against already relegated Sunderland. Bash Rice with a couple of goals. Um, Sunderland took a lead in this game, but it doesn't really matter. They lost 5-1 anyway. John Terry's last game for Chelsea, lifted the trophy, he, he made his little speech uh, talking about the owner, he's done really well, taking away from all the since he's been there, he's won 14 major honours, and then yeah, you could say sack and manage, but hey, the man's a winner, the man's a winner, and they've had, uh, you know, saying with the fans, John Terry said with the fans, say, but he'd be a massive miss for them next season, because not just, okay, you say what you say about John Terry, he's done, he done that, he's done that off the field, but he had the credit on the field, he is a leader, in that dressing room, he's a leader on the pitch, and he damn well is a is a winner. He's won five Premier League titles as a captain. He beats Roy Keane to that, which is an amazing stat to say the least. I think he is one of the greatest defenders in the Premier League. He's definitely just the greatest defender by our country man. The man's won the Champions League. He's won the UEFA Cup. He's won everything for Chelsea. So they're all he's just man mountain of a man, and a good win for Chelsea at the end of the season. They're now moving down five points. Which is only two points, which means they would fin they finish second uh, to all time points in the season, apart from Mourinho's team in '85, which Mourinho's the greatest ever. Uh, not just Chelsea team, but the greatest ever football team in the Premier League that year. They were literally just colossal players. So Chelsea won the title, basically, for them. John Terry's title in the last game. Son Leonard relegated, and David Moyes looks like he's going to get shown the door. That club next season will not be getting promoted symbol as that. Hull got humiliated by Tottenham. Harry Kane ends with a golden boot. 29 goals for him. He scored another hat-trick uh, like he did against Leicester, but then he won 6-1. He did better. He scored another one, and they won 7-1. It was literally a terrible game for Hull. Hull just didn't turn up at all. They were literally destroyed. They, they literally just thought, you know what? This last game of the season, we're going to get away. I don't care. Just, I, I'm just going to sunbathe or something like that. They're ready for the holidays. Top and give credit to him because this time last season they drew against Southampton and they got destroyed by Newcastle in the last day of season 5 1. You had to give credit to the carriers, and they, even though they didn't fight for the even though the tail was gone, they won the last two games. They really are, you know, showing the winning mentality that next season they want to win the tail. They want to beat whoever it is next year. So we're really going to see the real top next year. I think maybe the whole Wembley, they got Wembley, who did them, they definitely for me are my favourite to next year. But a good win for them. Harry Kane gets a good boot, good for him, 20 angles for the season. Will he catch Alan Shearer's 260? He has an outside chance. And I'm worried because I never thought that would be beaten. But it looks like, it, but then you could say Real Madrid could buy him. But will he be able to leave top of it this moment in time? I don't think he will. But a hey, good win for them. Hall already relegated. Will Marcus Silva be our next season? No, he won't be. It looks like he's going to take the poor job. Manchester United end the season on a high, you could say. They do play the Europa League final on Wednesday against Ajax, which is the biggest game of their season when that game they're in the Champions League and won two trophies. I think that'll be a decent season. I think that's a good season for Mourinho. But they beat, they played their kids in this game against Crystal Palace, who didn't mean they again didn't turn up in this match as well as whole. They pretty much season's finished. But 
But give credit to Mourinho. He plays some kids, and he's getting a lot of criticism. Mourinho, not the, not last, not this season, but the football season doesn't play kids. He just goes and buy players. He has brought in kids. He brought in Halop, who scored an absolutely beautiful goal. Uh, Mapapa scored a second. Uh, that's pretty much it. The game was over. But Mourinho did bring. He does. He has tried the kids this season. He brought in a, a Turbe against Arsenal. I played really well. He I also brought in the likes of. Um, Pereira, the goalkeeper, and you know, you could credit him. He has actually tried to at least give him a chance about Chelsea United, but my United next season will have to spend money if they want to fight for the title because right now they're 25 points off Chelsea, which is a huge gap to say the least. I don't think they've ever been that big of a gap between them and the, and first for for God knows how long. But my, we'll see, we'll probably see what my United do next season, but they have a lot of changes that team. Because it looks like Slatten may be going, and it looks like Griezmann's not going to stand for them. So, it's going to be interesting who they bring in this summer. My United, as a Palace, Big Sam does, Big Sam does. They stay in the Premier League. Can they finish top 10 next year? Why not? Why not? Bournemouth versus Leicester City. Bournemouth will finish 9th this season, the highest finish they've ever had in the top flight. What a remarkable season Eddie Howe's done. He is probably up there with managers of the season, but that goes to Antonio Conte for me. But he has been amazing this season. The fact that Bournemouth finished ninth better than he did last season was remarkable. The fact that everybody thought they would be relegated. I didn't. I thought they finished top 10 this season. The fact that they finished ninth, it literally just puts into perspective what a manager Eddie Howe is and what he's building at that club is amazing. As for Leicester City, the worst team to defend the title, they finished 12th this season. They've had a really bad season, Leicester. Um, but this is where I think Leicester are. I don't think Leicester are a top four team, or fighting for the title, or fighting in the top half. I do think this is where they are at this moment in time. But they should be fighting eighth too. But this is where they are. They're not going to break. They're not going to break in the top seven. I don't think that's for Leicester. But they they did sack Ranieri. They brought in Craig Shakespeare, who looks like he's going to get the job on a permanent basis. It looks like some of their best players, like Mars or Vardy, could be sold. In the summer, so uh, it's going to be a really interesting uh, summer for them too. As for Borum, Eddie Howe, what a remarkable job he's done there. Can they improve on ninth next season? Can they get into Europe? We'll be in our side bet. We'll be in our side bet for that. West Ham end the season on a little high, I should say. They have a horrific, uh, terrible season. Even though I don't, I don't know. I think this is where they are. Really, I think they pulled up trees last season. But a good winning is Burnley, who have really good home form this season. Actually, Vogue scored the first goal, then IU scored the winner, which was a deflected off the bar and he had it in. But a good win for West Ham then the season the high. Burnley stayed up. What a season Sean Dice has done there with the budget they've had. Incredible. And last game, Swansea against West Brom. Swansea went 2 1. A great end to the season for Swansea. They now finish 15th. Well, who would have thought you'd say that four months ago when Bob the Builder Bradley was the manager? They now have Paul Clement who's done a remarkable job since he's been there. But can they recalibrate that next season? Can they keep Sigerson? Can they build? Can they bring in more players in the summer? It's going to be hard for that. But next season we we'll see probably what Swansea are. Because this is why I think Swansea are. I, they shouldn't be fighting for relegation. But they probably will be fighting for relegation next season. But it's going to be interesting for them next year. As West Brom, top 10 finish. 20 players has never finished in the top 10. Uh, from the Premier League, so West Brom, you know we get for 20 players, no set pieces, I think that's 20 set pieces he scored this season, but um, another decent season for West Brom. So guys, let's look at the final Premier League table of the season. Chelsea were crowned champions ages ago and um, finished on 95 points, 2 off the record of 90, oh, 93 points, 2 off the record of 95, Tottenham will finish second, then we got Man City will finish third, then Liverpool in top four, Arsenal fifth, Manchester United sixth, Everton seventh, Southampton eighth, Bournemouth ninth, West Brom tenth. And the bottom, Sunderland already relegated and finished Brock bottom this season. West uh, Middlesbrough will be nineteenth, Hull eighteenth, Watford had a horrific season, finished seventeenth, and the rest all had average seasons. Now guys, let's move on to the last. Weekend of the Bundesliga. And the Bundesliga, there was only one big game to talk about this week, which was the game between Hamburg versus Wolfsburg. 
The massive game where we get to lose to that game is in the relegation playoff. Well, guess what? Hamburg do it every season. I don't know how they do. They keep the they, that clock is keep going tick 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 because they keep staying up. I don't know how they do. The only team in the Bundesliga to never relegate since it's formality way back in 1860 something. But give credit Hamburg because they're one now down this game. Wolfsburg scored the first goal. Hamburg got back in the game uh, before half time. The second half. The guy on his birthday, his 21st birthday, scores the header 2 1. Massive win for Hamburg to lift them out not to be in the relegation playoff. As for Wolfsburg, amazing how things can change in this past three years. They, three years ago, had the Kevin De Bruyne, the best player in the Bundesliga. This is a team that won the German Cup, beat Jurgen Klopp's Borussia Dortmund on his last game for Borussia for Dortmund. This is a team that finished second behind Bayern Munich. This is a team last season got in the, were in the Champions League and knocked out Manchester United. It's absolutely astonishing what's happened to Wolfsburg over the past three, two, three two, a season. It's incredible the fact that this team, you know, they had Draxler at the start of the season. He was so, I mean, they could be in the second division of Germany. Of Germans, uh, they could be in the second division in Germany next season. Amazing. It's absolutely astonishing what's happening at Wolfsburg. But get credit to Hamburg. Wolfsburg now plays Bashrang in the relegation playoff. Two, uh, two 19 minutes of football to save themselves from being relegated. It's not going to be easy for them if you're playing against your rivals. Dortmund and Hoffenheim are fighting who will get the automatic Champions League spot and who will get in the playoff. That went to Dortmund. Dortmund won an absolute crazy game against River Bremen. River Bremen took the lead. Dortmund came back. And then Bamiang scores one of the goals of the season. A beautiful ball in for Dembele. And then a little turn and then the finish. Bang. In the back of the net. Then he scored. Then Roche scored. Then um, River Bremen got another couple of goals. And then at the end, a big penalty for Bamiang. The top goal scorer in the Bundesliga. 31 goals this season. What a season he has had. He is just getting better and better and better. Last season he scored I think 27. This season he's just put more in. Can this guy still be a Dortmund next season? It looks like he's, looks like he's going to go to PSG. But hey, he's had a fantastic season at Dortmund. And he's man, probably the best player in the Bundesliga this season. As for Bremen, they've had a great season. They finished 8th. What a remarkable achievement for them. The amazing roller coaster six months ago around Christmas time. They were bottom of the league. Now they finished 8th. What a fantastic season. Off and nine, who will finish fourth? After again, a, draw, a, a goal is draw against Augsburg. I'm saying this game, other than the good man. Then, Champions League for them in the playoff. If they win that, they would have been out of my Champions League, which is amazing. The saying this from Half Nine. They're not even a Champions League club. They are, uh, they are I think they're like a Europa League team. Maybe not. Uh, the fact of is they're fighting for relegation this time a year ago. The fact that they're now in the top four is an absolute achievement in itself. Congratulations to them. They deserve it. Oscar Osberg, another season in the Bundesliga for them. Bayern Munich put four past Freiburg in Phil Blam and Jared Alonso's last game for Bayern Munich. And last game for their careers. They're going to retire achievable um, players they've been for them. For not just for, for Jared Alonso, for winning the Champions League for Liverpool and Real Madrid, winning league titles at all the clubs he's, apart from Liverpool, at all the clubs he's been at. Even Valencia, what a remarkable career he has had. World Cups, European Cups, he's won the whole lot. And Philip Lam left the World Cup way back in Brazil, won the Champions League for Bayern Munich. The man's had a phenomenal career, he's probably the best German fullback ever in Germany. Incredible career, and what a way to end it, those two left in the trophy, left in the Bundesliga tail. As for Freiburg, they will finish seven this season, they could still get Europe if. Dortmund win the cup next week against Frankfurt. So they've had a fantastic season as well for the club to get to Europe. Europe. That thing has some music. Hello and we'll be in Europe next season for the first time since 1996. That's right, it's been so long since they've been in Europe. Congratulations to them, they beat Mainz. Mainz are safe anyway. Cologne, what a season they've had. They will finish fifth this season. What an amazing achievement for a club of that me is incredible. The fact that they are a passionate football team but they are such a small they're such a small town. It's amazing that they're in the Europa League. Congratulations to them, they totally deserve it. a fantastic season. And they were playing the likes of they were playing the likes of 
Lazio next year, like so, so many big clubs, even even they could be playing Arsenal next year. So congratulations to them, they've had a fantastic season. And last game is Leverkusen destroy Hertha 6-2. Well, put a little glimmer of light on Leverkusen's season. Uh, Hernandez gets a hat trick, but they've had a bad season. Leverkusen next year, no Europe next year for them, maybe a good thing, but. A lot of work to be done for them in the summer. As for Hertha, they will be in the Europa League next year, but they had the the end of the season hasn't really been great. So guys, look at the final points of the table of the season. Bayern Munich are already champions. Leipzig will finish second this season. Dortmund will be third. Hoffenheim are fourth. Cologne fifth. Then Hertha, Freiburg are there. Then we got likes of River Bremen, club back, and the rest. Look at the bottom. Ingolstadt, Darmstadt already relegated. Hull Wolfsburg will be playing in Bar Strike in the relegation playoff, and the rest are safe in the Bundesliga again for another season. So, guys, let's move on to La Liga. And La Liga this weekend, we had the big title race between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Barcelona just missed out on the title that goes to Real Madrid. Real Madrid in the last two games in the season, they first had a Vigo 4 1 and they beat. Malaga 2 0. Ronaldo scored in the first minute. The first two minutes, really. His first two touches scored. Then, a f and then Sergio Ramos scores a good header. But they have really been the best team in La Liga. They have been consistently the best team. Barcelona haven't been not the rest of the season, but they have been the best team. They're in the Champions League final as well for Real Madrid. They could still do the double this season. But what a fantastic season. And what a manager Zidane has done. He's now won so many trophies. He's won the. I think he's won. The Champions League, he's won La Liga, he's won the Copa del Rey, he's, all, he's won so many trophies at Real Madrid, it's astonishing, what a season and what a manager he is going to be. For it. Can he do, can he be what Pep was for Barcelona? For, he could, he may actually. As for Barcelona, they end the season with a 4-2 win against Elbar, they were 2-0 down in this game, but Messi and Co pretty much shows why next season we're going to win this La Liga title. But uh, not being a great season for them, they haven't made a great win in the Champions League either this season in Barcelona. Uh, with, you know, the first, yes, they come back, done a great comeback against PSG. But it was against Juventus, they just couldn't take it up there. But next season, we'll probably see the best of Barcelona. They're probably obviously going to spend more money on a new striker. I'm probably a new midfielder and probably a new goalkeeper. But next season, we'll probably see what Barcelona have and Real Madrid as well. The Real Madrid champions of La Liga. The first time since 2011-12 season. Then again, Madrid will finish third of the season with a 3-1 against Elbar. Griezmann got a couple, maybe his last game for Atletico Madrid. It looks like it could be with him going to Manchester United. Elbar had a great season, top eight for them. What an amazing uh, achievement they've had this year. Sevilla won 5 0 against relegated Osuna. Another good win for Sevilla. They will finish fourth this season. Osuna already relegated. Valencia. Lose 3 1 to Villarreal. Villarreal will finish fifth this season, probably the best of the rest in Spain in terms of they always do finish fifth. I think this is their third fifth of the I think this is their third consecutive fifth list in the past three years. They really are a good little team, Villarreal. Yes, they could they do sell the best players in the nation, Eddie Bailly last year. I would say they're gonna sell uh, Gaspar who's been sensational for them as a fullback this year, and maybe the striker. But they bring in some good quality players and always Seem to be the best of the best of the rest in Spain. As for Valencia, they've not had a great season. If they have, they have to rebuild to try and fight with very for those Europa League spots next year. And last game, Celta Vigo two, Real Sociedad two. That point put Sociedad sixth in La Liga. They've had an alright season. Celta Vigo, they've had a fantastic season. Got to the last to the semi finals of Europa League and finished top ten. That's a good season for them. So guys, look at the La Liga table. Where Real Madrid are champions. Barcelona will finish second, then they're going to third, Sevilla fourth, very out fifth, Real Sociedad sixth. That's that in the top half. Let's look at the bottom. We were oh, Granada, already relegated. Austin and Sporting Lisbon already relegated as well. Like a nice devil table. And the rest will stay in, stay in La Liga for another season. So, guys, let's move on to Syria. Juventus are crowned champions of Serie A for the sixth consecutive time and beat relegation fighting Crotone. Great win for them. Juventus also doing the double, which they won in the Coppa Italia against Lazio 2 0. And they could do the double. They could do the treble this season, Juventus, for the first time in, I think, ever. I think they've never won the treble. 
But this could be a they've had a really good season and they're always and they're always improving. They brought Higuain to challenge to the Champions League and and to win an it's a six scudetto, which no team in history in Serie A has ever won six straight scudettos. The fact that ten years ago they were promoted from Serie B to Serie A, Antonio Conte took them over, won the won the, scud the first scudetto of many scudettos. So they've had a fantastic season. Even though they sold Paul Papa, they're still improving, and they're going to take some stopping next year. If anybody's going to have a challenge. Roma played Kiev in a cracking game at the last promo game in Syria. Great win for them. Um, looks like Aiden Jacko will win the Golden Boot in Syria with uh, his couple of goals. El Shirari scored a couple, and so and the goal from Salah. Kiev got a couple. It was a really good game. And definitely looks like Roma may actually have a challenge. They may challenge maybe the only team apart from probably Napoli that could challenge Juventus for the title next year. Speaking of Napoli, they went 4 1 against Fiorentina, which pretty much looks like they're going to finish third this season and up to go in the playoff, which they never do well in, which they probably want to finish second then. But Mertens again scores, and Senior has been amazing for them this season. Fiorentina got a goal. But they've had a poor season, and we really will see probably what will you, what can Napoli do next year? Can they invest more in their team? Can they improve on this season and try and fight with Roma and Juventus for that Scudetto next year? It's probably going to be difficult for them, but they will be when we buy a bet for that. In the big relegation match was between Genoa, which Genoa win a massive, massive win for them against against Juarte. Torino and Joward is now claimed as the worst goalkeeper in Serie A this season. Maybe that's the way when I pep Cody will get rid of him because he's not good enough. But the fact of the matter is, I've he's not a great saving Joward. His saves have been poor. He's playing in a very, very bad team. They could easily have been relegated this season to Torino, but if you have Berotti in your in your team scoring over 20 goals season, they're probably going to finish ninth. As a general, it's a massive win, which keeps him in Serie A for another season. Massive win for them. Can they at least end the seat next game with next weekend? Put a little smile on the general faces next weekend. Atlanta beat Empoli. Massive defeat for Empoli because with Genoa's win, that means it's between five between them and Crotone. They have to all they need to do, Empoli, is in their hands. They just need to win the next game and they will be safe. For the Serie A for our season. As for London, their season has been sensational. They look like they're going to finish fifth this season. They're already in the Europa League. What a remarkable season they're having, they've had this year. Can they get, can they crack into that top three next year? It won't be a bad bet. And last game, which was Inter Milan versus Lazio. Inter Milan went 3 1. A really good, entertaining game. And Lazio, well, again, the cup final they played, they were pretty poor. But I. They've had a nice season. They've wondered if they're going to finish fourth. Enter Milan. Well, they're trying to end the season on a high. Looks like they're, they're going to spend millions in the summer. With, we don't even know who the manager is going to be next season. It looks like it's going to be Spalletti at Roma, who looks like he may get the sack from Roma because they want a, a really good Italian manager. It's not going to be Antonio Conte, but they want Cari Ranieri, Roma. So it's going to be a really sort of twists and turns who's going to be the managers next year for Inter Milan but hey it's going to be very difficult they do have money in Milan but do they have the the will to win next year to fight for the Scudetto fight for that title with Juventus it's going to be so intriguing next year for all the teams including Inter Milan who stay or in Europe League now with that win at the weekend but it's going to be interesting with two Milan clubs you also got Inter you got Lazio you got Napoli and you got Juventus and you also got Roma, who's going to be really interesting end this really, really interesting summer and season next year in Serie A. So guys, let's look at the last. Let's look at the Serie A table where Juventus are already Juventus are champions of Serie A. Let Roma and Napoli are fighting there for second. Lazio and Atlanta. Atlanta could still catch Lazio, but it doesn't look like, look like they will. And the bottom, Reino Palermo and Pescara relegated. Crotone will be relegated if Empoli win next week. Genoa and the rest are safe in our seat. Now guys, let's move on to League Earn. And in League Earn, we're going to crown Monaco champions of League Earn after the record points total. 95 points. Over 80 goal difference. They have been by far and away the best team. Well, not just in League Earn. The best team in Europe this season. 
Antonio Jardines, Leonardo Jardines, done a remarkable job at Monaco this season. The fact that they have went from last season where they finished third to moving up to fifth for the title, winning the hexagon title for a league on title, fantastic season they've had this year. Mbappe, Bernardo Silva, Lamar, Barrioco, so much good young talent coming through that team. But can they keep it next season? I don't think they. I think they'll keep Mbappe. I don't think they keep Bernardo Silva, Fabinho, or Barrioco, or maybe Mendy. But I don't. I do think they will keep their main man in Mbappe next season. But they've had a fantastic season. They are champions of Ligue 1 for the first time in over 16 years. Just spent the relegation battle to pretty much solve, which Bastia are now relegated after they lost to Marseille. Marseille now finish will be in Europe League next season. A good goal from Bavzini Gomez to ensure that they are in Europe League after Bastia are relegated. PSG drew against Cannes. Cannes needed a draw and they will not be in the relegation playoff, which they didn't with the last minute goal, even though Di Maria scored the goal, the first goal for them. But can go back in the game, 1-1, they're safe. PSG had a poor season, they were finished second this year. And Nantes won 3-1 against St Etienne, but it didn't make a difference. They had to win, while also Lorient and Can had to lose. It didn't happen. They are now relegated next, they will be in playing in Ligue 2 next year, along with Bastia. And Lorient will be in the relegation playoff with, uh, to fight for who will get um, relegated. They will play Trois. In that relegation playoff, whoever wins that game will be in the Gern and one team will be in League 2 next year. All in all, so the most entertaining game in the last game of the season was Lyon versus Nice. Lagazette probably scored his last two goals for Lyon. It looks like he is going to go to Letico Madrid next season. And Nice, well, they've ended a good season, got Champions League football next year for them. And Valencia have had a good season, nonetheless. Now, guys, let's look at the last League Gern table of the season. PSG, Monaco, Trent, Monaco are champions of, of Ligue 1, 95 points, what an amazing season they've had, they've had this year, they've been the best team by a country mile. PSG are second, then we've got Nice, who are third, then three in the Champions League next year. Mont Lyon, Marseille and Bordeaux will be in Europa League, and at the bottom, Bastia, Nantes are relegated, and Lorient will be playing Troyes in the relegation playoff this week. So guys, that's the, the penultimate football roundup of the season. I'll see you guys next week for the last football roundup of the season, which we will talk about like the Serie A and tip in my goal of the season and players of the season and all of the leagues. So be in the watch out for that. Please like, subscribe, the natural is out.